I this is my review of Spec Ops tactical pants. I had seen somebody else wearing these, and uh, because I could not find these online or offline, so I had to ask somebody to buy them and uh, send them to me. Finally, these have arrived. I have already opened the packaging to save time. These came inside a cardboard box with other things, and uh, while taking out uh, from the cardboard box, the plastic has torn, but uh, nothing has happened to the trousers inside. Uh, the plastic had some branding on it. And on first inspection, I really like the trousers. I like the cloth material. Uh, these are ripstop. Uh, ripstop for somebody who doesn't know what ripstop is, is a box weave pattern or checkered weave on the cloth itself. This prevents tearing or actually slows down tearing. I don't know if it is visible in the camera or not. So this is a box weave on the trouser. What happens if there is, if there is a tear uh, at one place? So the box kind of keeps that tear within the box itself and prevents it from spreading fast. Apart from that, a lot of uh, the box check uh, trousers that I've purchased over a period of time have been very thin so I like the thickness of this and it's a good cotton based uh, cloth which I really like. Uh, the color is olive green, olive green generally is the best color I find for all purposes, uh, day and night and for camouflage also. Uh, on first impression the workmanship seems really good. Uh, there is a lot of bar tacking on the trousers, the quality seems good, there are no loose threads, the workmanship quality is very good. Yes, it seems really good, uh, no problems with the workmanship or stitching anywhere on the trousers. So let's start from the front. The trouser has a very high waist, unlike normal uh, trousers and even tactical pants which are there in the market, uh, these have a very high waist which should give it more stability I'll say that it stays in the right place because the waist is higher up uh, for opening it has hook and loop with the normal zip and a button inside so it's got hooks and loops and the normal zip is the zip YKK yes the zipper is YKK it's a metallic zip so I'm very happy with that. There is plenty of material on the inside also. They haven't cut corners on the trouser which I really like. Up front, they have box pockets or box cut pockets at angle. Uh, not very, not very wide. These should have been slightly wider for ease of use, but uh, the quality is really good. It has bar tacking where required. It has bar tacking, lots of places, bar tacking here also for the loops, so which is really nice. And the cloth feels sturdy. I bought a size waist 34 for myself. And I have a feeling that this might be slightly tight because normally when you buy clothing, a uh, lot of manufacturers actually use vanity sizing, wherein where they say 34 it is actually 35. And here I feel that this is 34 with an inchy tape if I measure myself it will be exactly 34, it will not be 1 inch more. So this might be slightly tight but uh, no major problems in that. Coming on to the sides, the sides have very nice pockets the design of the pockets is very well thought out uh, it is slanting to the front which is good because when you are sitting down the pocket behind should be slightly longer because everything then tends to settle downwards so while sitting, things will stay inside, nothing will pop out. 
it's got velcro closure and it's got one continuous patch of velcro which is always good because then the contact is more and it will stay in place for longer so interesting touch also another very good touch is that they have got separation in the pockets they have got this additional piece of cloth inside for separation in the pocket which is always good so when you put something inside this piece of cloth within the pocket within the cargo pocket it will stay in place and not shift around that is a very good feature i really look forward to that in cargo pockets the design of the cargo pocket is also nice there will be a decent amount of blousing and so there is a lot of storage space inside that is a good feature however normally the pleats should be coming onto the other pleat this way so that when you are walking in the bush nothing gets stuck in this but that said even this design is pretty good similarly on the other side another cargo pocket again slanting towards the front in the rear they got these rear pockets also with flaps but there is no velcro velcro closure on this neither a button has been provided which may be subpar but uh, i am actually impressed with the workmanship on this however another negative on this is that uh, the pocket is again very very thin uh, the opening should have been wider the depth seems okay the depth seems okay on this in the front let me see again the front opening is very narrow i think this is a problem it should have been broader the front opening is very narrow and the depth is kind of okay but another good feature is that they have given green cloth inside unlike other trousers sometimes they give white they have given green cloth inside which is actually a good feature okay so on the behind they have also given this extra patch of cloth in the seat you can see the stitching here they have given this extra patch of cloth for the seat which is the high abrasion area so this is always a good feature when i have my uniform stitched i always have this added this is a very good feature so they have got two pieces of cloth here one on the inside and one on the outside specifically for abrasion coming on to the knees the knees also have double cloth on the knees and yes so there is a sleeve inside so there is a sleeve inside in the knees for you to put knee guards of whatever form or maybe a piece of foam inside so that when you take a knee you don't hurt your knees and also to keep the knee guard in place they have given this velcro so once you put your knee guard inside and you wear the trousers you can actually tighten the velcro and keep it from flapping around a very good design feature so this velcro can be tightened on the behind and it will keep it or keep the knee pads in place this is a good feature i think the knee pads will have to be inserted from the inside let's check Okay, so here I don't find any sleeve. They haven't given the space for one to inside a knee pad if one wants to, which is strange because they have that velcro behind to keep it in place, but they haven't given any space for the knee pad to be inserted. However, that is an easy fix. You can just open the stitches here and create space for the knee pad to be inserted inside, like a sleeve. But this is strange. Let me check again for a sleeve. 
no so the knee does have two pieces of cloth one on top of the other but then there is no sleeve on the inside for you to insert anything similarly at the bottom also they've given two pieces of cloth at the bottom because this is also a high abrasion area and they've again given a velcro for you to tighten the anklets over your boots or inside your boots as you like to wear them so this is also a good design feature overall i really like the quality of the trousers i think they are pretty good i'll have to try them and see them only problem which might be there for me is that the trousers come up slightly high on the waist and maybe also onto the stomach so i'll have to try and see how these fit i'm not used to such trousers but otherwise i'm really happy with the workmanship on this only addition probably what i would have wanted is maybe preformed knees they've not given preformed knees but then i'll have that done myself only pity is that there's a good amount of good quality stitching i think i'll have to open that to get it done but then i like it that way so maybe i'll have it done still overall i'm very satisfied with this tactical pants stroke cargo trousers thank you 